Ask Laston, episode 9, Western from India. We are facing a problem with 6mm clear tempered glass. Glass gets a rainbow effect, then turns into white smoke spots, and later on it detaches in the form of film. Can you help me to sort out the problem? When we are talking about clear glass tempering and clear glass pre processing, if the water and the glass is clean, there shouldn't be any film or any color changes on the glass. Figure or checking by your glass and picture what you provided to us, it seems that there is some kind of either washing material, some kind of shampoo, some kind of powder on the glass before it enters to the furnace, which burns into the glass during the heat treatment process. So this is related to pre-processing, especially for the glass washing process. Western from Bangladesh. We are finding it difficult to obtain consistent results from our tempering line. Our cooling nozzles are slightly irregular in the height from the glass. Chinese manufacturer advised to use furnace continuously to obtain consistent result. Also they are saying for a given thickness, the parameters of tempering must always be changed for all different areas of glass, even of the same thickness. Glass tempering results are now totally unpredictable. Also, furnace doesn't have IR sensor, but we used handheld temperature sensor and found heat distribution fairly consistent with 10 to 15 degree difference. Can you help us? Well, it seems that you have both mechanical and process related issues. And it also shows that sometimes comparison between the different tempering furnaces might be difficult. You get some values from the manufacturers, but still the reality might be totally different. Uh, as a first aid, I re recommend that you adjust the height of the nozzles to the same level and also use a handheld pressuring device, pressure measuring device uh, and measure the pressure from the nozzles throughout the quench zone. Make sure that the pressure level is uniform, that really helps the tempering of the glass. Uh, for the operator's sake, I really recommend that you buy the infrared scanner. This gives, a great, uh, gives to operator a great tool uh, to monitor the heating of the, of the glass and also it gives some feedback how well the tempering is succeeded.